Alright, hey guys, GSTAR321 here. We're going to be playing something different. We are playing The Simpsons Arcade, which is a downloadable title for Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, 1200 Microsoft points. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is how to get the Mr. Mr. Sparkle achievement. 25 gamer score, okay? Very, very hard achievement, the hardest in the game. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So, what you're going to want to do is here, set it to the Japan ROM. Difficulty easy, downtown stage, and survival mode, okay? And I'm picking Lisa here. Alright, now basically, what survival mode is... Well, first of all, we need to select the Japanese ROM, okay? You can unlock that by just completing the game once on the USA ROM, okay? So when you first start this game, you cannot actually select the Japanese ROM. You have to finish the game first. And it, we have to do this on survival mode, alright? Which basically means one life, zero continues, okay? So as you can see in the top left corner there, I have zero lives, okay? Just the current one that I'm uh, playing with right now, okay? That's it. If I die, it is game over. Now what this achievement entails is you need to make it to the stage three boss, okay? This achievement took me hours and hours and fucking hours to do, alright? But uh, now that I know how to do it quite easily and comfortably, I'm going to you know, show you guys how to go about doing that, alright? So this first stage is just a cakewalk, alright? You can pretty much just run around mashing the buttons like, a, like an idiot and you know you'll get through it. As you saw, I just hit that tree there, okay? They contain food items. And I'm going to show you all the locations where the food items are in these levels, okay? Because it is absolutely imperative. This boss is extremely easy, okay? All you're going to want to do is press A plus X to do this, uh, you know, Lisa's whip attack with the skipping rope. And he goes, he falls down, you know, he gets stunned. You've got to time it so that, you know, as soon as he gets back up, you can hit him again. Very, very easy. Alright. So like I said, this first stage is simple. You can get through it even if, you know, half, you know, not even paying attention, whatever. But now it's going to get a little bit difficult. Okay, stage two. And I'm going to show you guys how to get through this stage pretty easily. Oh, here we go, bonus stage. Your balloon and go after Maggie. Ready? Just a cool little go. game. It's actually pretty difficult, you know, to do this. I've, there's been times when I've mashed the buttons like absolutely fucking crazy and I've come like third. So it's a little bit bullshit, you know, but whatever. This has no bearing on the achievement whatsoever. Alright, so here we go, stage two, Krusty Land. Go ahead and kill this crusty dude up here, okay? If you don't, he's just gonna follow you around and fuck you up. Oh, I'm invisible there. What happened? Alright, hit that thing, that'll give you an apple, okay? Now, the good thing about the Japanese ROM is that even if you're on full health and you get a healing item, your health is extended, okay? So as you can see in the top left corner, I've got a little bit of yellow and the rest is purple or pink, alright? So that little bit of yellow, so watch now, see? And it's just the yellow part has gone up again, indicating that I've extended my life a lot more. On the USA ROM, you cannot do this, okay? If you try and get a healing item when you're on full health, it will not extend it beyond its maximum, okay? So this is unique to the Japanese ROM. And I suppose this is why they made the achievement on the Japanese ROM, because it would be fucking insane if we had to do it on the USA ROM. So as you can see, I've just got this hammer. Now all you need to do for the remainder of this... Oh, here you go. Here's a tree. Hit this. You'll get a lemon. Okay, there's some more health. Can't get enough jump at this part because that thing can fuck you up. All right. Now all I'm doing for the re remainder of level 2 in Krusty Land here is just jumping and hitting with the hammer. Okay, that is it. The AI is cheap. All right. They are fucking annoying on this stage, they're fucking annoying on the next stage, alright? It's, be it's best to just sort of deal with one at a time, but as you can see I've got four guys here. So all I'm doing is jumping, okay, and hitting with the hammer. If you try and do what I would what, like that, just hit them. You see? It's bullshit, okay? They hit you, it's just fucked, alright? As you can see. This guy, yep. Alright, so, so, yep, so this is why I do not like standing on the ground, okay? There is just too much opportunity for bullshit. The AI is out of control, alright? 
especially if you've got two, three guys ganging up on you at once. The AI pulls off ridiculous cheap shots on you, okay? It's fucked. So it's good that we've also got the hammer for this crusty boss, okay? Very, very easy. He doesn't take too much damage, you know, just kill him like I did just then. Basically three hits with the hammer. Uh, the crusty balloon will sort of go away and then come back. While he's gone away, move, okay? Because if you stand still, it'll come back and hit you, all right? And here we go. This is the third stage, all right? The uh, graveyard level. So this is what I'm sort of doing now. I like doing this A plus X whip attack, okay, because it tends to kill the guys in one hit, alright? However, you have to time it very... Oh, here we go. Hit that thing, you get an apple. You have to time it very, very perfectly, okay, because if you miss, you leave yourself vulnerable to getting attacked, alright? This fucking ghost there can be a bit annoying. Alright, so this is... Yep. And I pick up... Oh, shit. You know, if you see those sort of weapons on the ground, like, that you can throw, always just pick them up and use them, okay? It is very, very handy just to clear, you know, at least one enemy off the screen. There was a health item there behind that tree, okay? Fuck! Okay, I got hit there. Grab this skull, throw it at this thing. Now, this weapon here is really, really good, okay? Just try and get a little bit of distance before you start hitting them with it because the AI can perform a slide kick or some cheap bullshit move like that, alright? So stand at a distance, they'll die in one hit any enemy, okay? Don't be tempted to pick up that thing, okay? Don't pick it up. Just keep using this weapon, alright? Trust me, this is all you need. And these zombies are relatively easy as long as you have this weapon, okay? When they do that jump and just uh, walk past them. And I'm probably going to run out of ammo, so to speak, for this slingshot here. Yeah, fuck, I've run out now. So, you know, make sure that the shots count. One hit kills, because, you know, we've still got these... These zombies here are actually the hardest enemies in terms of getting this achievement, okay? They are, they are very difficult, see? Get in close, they'll just slap you. The best way... Yep, there we go. So the best way I've sort of found to deal with them is either maybe just do a jump attack, you know, like I'm doing here, but it'll take a few. However, when they go on the ground like that, okay, there we go. As soon as they come up, you've got like a brief second to quickly do that A plus X attack, okay, with at least the skipping rope, which is basically a one-hit kill to anything, all right, except bosses. So here we go. We're down on this elevator shaft thing now. You can actually hit these guys. I don't think I was standing in the right place to do that, but basically they're going to be jumping on the elevator one at a time, okay? And as soon as they do, just try and perform that A plus X attack to get rid of them, okay? You can actually hit them when they're on the side like that, standing there. For some reason I was getting unlucky, you know, I don't think I was getting the angle right when I was doing that, but you know, just keep doing the... Oh, fuck! How? Be careful, alright? I'm... Ooh, shit! This is really tight now, okay? Um, a lot of mistakes made here. Alright, here we go. I'm sweet. There's health there, alright. But this is basically it, okay? This is the stage 3 bosses here. The achievement should pop up pretty much like right now, okay? I've already got it, so it's not going to pop up on my screen. You do not have to kill these bosses, okay? The achievement only says that you need to make it to these bosses, this boss, alright? So the achievement should pop up pretty much when they first uh, appear, alright? It's actually not that hard to kill once you know the AI's bullshit cheap tactics, you know, you can sort of counter it with your own, this is all I'm doing. But, I oh fuck, yeah. So whatever, he got me. But you know, that's it. That took me a very, very long time to get this achievement, okay? The AI is fucking cheap, but uh, do what I did there, guys, and that should get you through it. Alright? Thanks for watching.